Hey guys, welcome to Maddie Draws and Happy Mermaid! I feel like since I'm back on YouTube now and everything, I should celebrate these kind of things in video form. I've actually never tried mermaid a single time simply because I don't know how to draw mermaids. But when I came up with this idea, I thought it's so cool, so I just had to do it. So without further ado, let's get to drawing. Hi, I'm Maddie, and I love Pokemon. I want to do something for Mermaid, anything. I have been thinking about this since the beginning of April. I wasn't sure at first if I'm gonna stick with my tradition of not touching Mermaid at all again, but my friend Mindy, I don't know if you remember her or not, but she did a collab with me in the video about Six the Musical I posted last month. I'll link it in the card in the upper right, so you should go watch it maybe? I would love you so much if you do, thank you! Well anyway, I came up with this idea that I thought was pretty cool. I told her about it and she thought so too, so I was like, let's go with it, why not? The idea was for me to choose a water type expert from Pokemon and design them as a mermaid. Then I ran into a problem. Out of all the water type experts, only three are the ones I know and actually want to draw. A lot of water type experts are dudes for some reason, and y'all know, I do not draw dudes. And I'm not gonna draw one of the NPC swimmers, sailors, etc. Cause their designs are boring and I don't even know them that well, so I don't have any desire to draw them. The ones that are my top choices are Misty, Lana, and Nessa. And now that I'm saying that I have such limited choices brings Team Aqua admin Shelly to mind. Dang it! She would make a great mermaid. Next time Shelly, next time. Out of all the choices, Misty stands out the most. But since Misty has been around since Gen 1, and I've seen so much of her already, I'm kind of bored of her at this point. I'm sorry to the Misty stands out there, but it has to be said. I don't know how my mind landed on Lorelei, but it did. She's an ice-type icon, and I love her to bits. This kind of contradicts my point about Misty being around since Gen 1 a little bit, but Lorelai didn't appear as a main character in multiple seasons of the anime now, did she? Anyway, I justify my choice of choosing Lorelai to Mermify by saying that most of her teams are water ice types. Heck, Slowbro is not even an ice type. Justice for ice type Pokemon, please! <laughs> Fun fact, do you know that ice type is the second least populated type in all of Pokemon? The number one is Ghost. Y'all know my favorite type is Ice, but what you might not know is my second favorite type is Ghost. I guess I'm just naturally attracted to underrated things without even noticing. Anyway, let's actually talk about the picture. I have my fair share of experience drawing Lapras, but this one turned out kind of weird. I think it's because I tried to make it look as tall as the real one compared to Lorelai's height. It's two and a half meters tall, dear god. I was using references from the Let's Go game screenshots, and Lapras is not proportional at all. I mean, assuming Lorelei is about 165 to 170 centimeters tall, compared to her, Lapras looks like she's like two meters tall. I just had to stick with the fact, so I went off model of the game a little bit. This is what happens when you don't follow your references when you're using references. Use references for drawing, kids. It's good for you. I gotta find a synonym for that word, jeez. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and this was when disaster struck. Ugh. I don't know what happened to half of the footage of this speed paint, but it's gone. I'm so sorry, you guys. But the last little bit is still here, so moving on. I'm not the proudest of this piece. I kind of hit that point again, this happens from time to time, where I'm not improving enough to satisfy myself. It's kind of an art blocky situation here. Maybe I'm just burnt out, who knows? So 
hoping this goes away soon so I can keep making videos for you wonderful people. Speaking of that, we just hit 100 subs! Yay! Thank you guys so much! The contest announcement will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And with that said, thank you so so much for watching as always. And hopefully I will have another video up soon, so I will see you then. Smell you later!